In the previous episode, I described the process of setting up the test environment using Mocha and Chai, and we performed some basic test-driven development. If you haven't watched the video and you don't know how to set up tests, I recommend you to go back and watch that first episode. Now we will dive into a more advanced testing topic as testing the interaction with the MongoDB. As before, we will be working on an API written in HappyJS framework. You can read more about Happy on its website. For now, we will create a new route based on this example. We will be building a sign up feature which will add new users to the system. Let's name the route accordingly and set the method type to post because it will create a new object. Let's move it to a separate file for clarity. and require that file. We will be writing test for our handler function. First, create a test file and add there a describe block with actual tests. Our signup handler will perform following tasks. Creates the user in the database. Returns user object. Creates password hash. And throws an error when the user already exists. Let's remove test function to mark tests as pending. Let's require the file in our test setup. Run the test command and see how that works. We have four new pending tests. For the first test case, let's violate the test-driven development principle and implement the feature before the test. In the example application, we use MongoDB with Mongoose library for storing data. We have one Mongoose model already defined here. It has an email, first name and last name. Let's require it in our signup file. We will implement create the user in the database example. To store model in the database, we will use mongoose create method. Let's use it in our handler function. Happy framework passes post data as a request payload object. Let's use that as a function argument. There is one thing missing. Create function returns promise as a response. In the root, we will have to wait until this promise is resolved. We can do this by using async await expression. Let's do that. Okay, now our method looks like it should work. Let's test that. In the beginning, we will have to connect Mongoose to the database. So we need to have MongoDB process running in the system. I have already installed MongoDB community server. To install it, just visit the website and follow the installation instruction. Let's go back to the terminal and run mongodemon in a separate terminal session. Now we have to connect with the Mongo in our test suite. Copy the example from Mongo's page. Let's go back to the test setup file. We will use before and after mocha hooks. In before function, we will connect to the database. In after hook, we will disconnect. 
we use connection close function. It is a good practice not to hard code any connection strings in the code. So let's create new const. Take this from environmental variable or use the default value. Replace it. Remove semicolon. Run our tests to see if everything is working. It is. Since we have everything ready, let's write our first test. Go back to our test file and add function to the test case. We will be testing sign up root, so let's require it. Also, we will need our user mongoose model. All cases in the blog are testing the handler function, so we can put its invocation in before each hook. Before that, let's create a test data. Invoke the handler with the payload. Handler is an asynchronous method, so we have to add an async await statement to our test function. In our test, we will check if a new document has been added to the collection. We use count documents method and compare it with one. Add async await statement. Go back to the terminal and run tests. We see that it works. Does it? Run the test again. And now it fails, because now we have two users in the database. To fix that, we have to remove all the users we created in tests after each test execution. We can use after each hook. We will use delete many function. Let's run test twice. After first run, Mocha should remove all records. And it's OK. OK, run Mocha just one more time. Still works. Let's implement one more test case. But now let's do the test driven development. First, store the return value. In the expectation, we'll use deep include assertion, which checks if all the fields we gave in the payload are in the response. Now let's change our handler to fulfill the new test case. Rerun tests. Perfect, everything passes. That's OK, but those are only tests. Let's check if our new route actually works in a real-life example. First, run the app and invoke simple CURL command to check our route. And it works. We receive the correct response with user ID, email, first name and last name. OK, that's all for now. In the next episode, we will implement two remaining test cases. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned.